So the book that I chose for Banned Books Week is A Wrinkle in Time by Ban Lynn Langle. And I chose this book for a number of reasons. It was one of my favorite childhood books, and I still reread it almost every year just because I think it's such a fantastic text. The reason I think that it's great is, one, it sparks imagination. It lends the reader um, an opportunity to think about our universe, to think about spirituality, and to think about the possibilities for connection that exist in all things. But really, I think that this is an interesting text because of the themes um, towards the end of the book, where the protagonists find that the embodiment of evil is really defined as sameness. And what they find is that the opportunity to fight against this is their difference, the things that they've maybe thought of as weaknesses. Um, and they challenge themselves and challenge those around them to embrace diversity, to say, no, we, we don't all need to do things the same way. That's not the right way to do this. Really, I think it's exciting that the protagonist finds herself having to embrace the things that she has seen in herself as weakness and challenge authority, challenge the institution. And for me, um, and for the readers that I would encourage to, to look at this text, I would say, don't accept what institutions tell you. Whether it's our government, whether it's our families, whether it's our education system, think about what you're bringing to the table as a strength in all situations and embrace diversity and difference. And that's what makes us strong. So I'm Peter Donaldson. I'm the coordinator of the TRIO programs on campus and I read banned books.